Yo, what's the deal, everybody? It's your boy, Kwan, once again. I'm over here getting ready to do a little something for our um, Yahoo Fantasy uh, Football League, Dirty South 3. I'm over here. It is Sunday. Uh, what's the date? December 11th. I'm over here watching the Falcons play fourth quarter. And um, Julio Jones... Just did his thing and got a touchdown for the Falcons. And now the Falcons are tied 23-23 with the kick after. It is 24-23 to Falcons. <laughs> yeah, baby. <gasps> anyway, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to talk about our fantasy football league. And first off, before we uh, get anything started about this week, I'm going to go back a week and talk about how everybody did. Now, first game I'm going to talk about is my game, Too Hot for TV, is the team. We went against the Valley Mobsters. Now, this was a kind of tight game until the end, and then Valley Mobsters kind of ran away with it. You know what I'm saying? The Mobsters got real gangster with my team and everything like that. They had a bunch of them. Instead of AK 47s, they had a bunch of fire extinguishers when they came up against me. And um, it was just hard, man. My boys went against my quarterback and my wide receiver, went against Houston. And Houston got a hot little defense. They couldn't hear in the stadium, they didn't really do too well. Whereas Valley Mobsters had uh, Aaron Rodgers and uh, Percy Harvin and Hakeem Nix, and they went the hell off. I think all three of them together combined for about 91 points, just those three. So they didn't really need much from the rest for the rest of their team, you know what I'm saying? So Valley Mopsis took that uh, 141.16 to 130.88. Valley Mopsis are 10-3, and, and Too Hot for TV is 6-7. and seven. Okay, the next game we're going to talk about is the Kings Tree Wildcats against the Uptown Strippers. One note. I like that pick, Uptown Scrippers. That's a hot little pick right there, the lady on the pole. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's see if that picture translated to a win. And I can say that it did. <laughs> ah, they um, beat the Kings Tree Wildcats 104.66 to 98.74. I know them Wildcats tried to stay in it. They wanted to claw and scratch their way to the top, but... Big Ben couldn't do it against Cincinnati. I know some people thought he would. Ron Robinson didn't really come through. Brent Selleck, DeMarco Murray. You know, but, hey, Tom Brady did his, did his thing a little something with 23-plus points. MJD came through. CJ Spiller did a little something. And Toby Gerhardt did something for Uptown Scripper. So what can you say? Like I said, they came through with the win, and that's that. Now, uh, going into this week, A-Town Jags were undefeated. They went against the Bad Boys from the BX. BX Bad Boys 420. And this was a closed game. Both quarterbacks did their thing. Of course, Drew Brees, 32-plus points. You know, but Matthew Stafford had 25 points, so they were still in there. A-Town Jags had Ray Rice, 34-plus points for a running back. That's incredible. Remarkable, as a matter of fact. But the rest of her team just couldn't, you know what I'm saying, support, you know what I'm saying, the top two leaders, you know what I'm saying? And BX Bad Boys narrowly came through with a win by, like, less than two points. It was 123.18 to 121.42. Now... Next game we're going to talk about is between these Nuts and the Rough Riders. These Nuts been having it hard this season at 3-10. and 10. Rough Riders hanging in there in the middle, 6-7. and seven. Of course, all these records are after the Week 13 games, okay? So, um, I don't know what to say about... D's, man. You had a couple guys that gave you some pretty nice scores. Your kicker gave you 14 points. That's outstanding. And so on and so forth. But uh, Rough Riders, Eli Manning, 28-plus points. LaShawn McCoy, of course, usually 20-plus plus points every week. Seattle came through with 20-plus points. Um, hey, 
or what else can I say? Rough Riders came out this week. They rolled all over them nuts. You know what I'm saying? So 115.48 to 90.28. Now, the next matchup we have is uh, between Delta Dogs and the Black Rain. And all I can say is them dogs didn't stay on the porch. They got a little bold, tried to come off the porch. And they ended up get wet. You know what I'm saying? Cam Newton went for like 38 plus points. Rashard Mendenhall, 18 points. Delta Dogs had a couple nice players. Greg Jennings got a 14.4 points. I'm sorry, I'm watching the game. It's Sunday. You know how it is. I'm watching highlights. But anyway, cap this off. Black Rain wet up them dogs. 123.66 to 74.72. And then in the last game that I'm going to go over between the two brothers who went into the game with the matching records of 6-6. Six and six. This game was going to determine who was going to go up and who was going to go down. And in this matchup, ATL Kings went down. I think one of the things that hurt them is, one, your linebacker, Patrick Willis. I don't know if he went out or he was out when at the time of this game. But he didn't get you any points. I mean, who who would think that LeGarrett Blunt would get you less than two points? You know what I'm saying? Against Carolina. You know? But, hey, it is what it is. Both of you guys, your quarterbacks only scored 12 some odd points or whatever. But Duke had more people that came through for him. Then ATL Kings, especially Arian Foster with 21 plus points. San Francisco defense, 30 plus points. And Duke heavy hitters come out on top, 135.80 to 91.66. Now, this week is the start of the playoffs. Week 14, first week of the playoffs. And we've got mm, four teams playing, okay? The team in first place, A-Town Jags, and in second place, the Valley Mopsers. You two have buys, so you can sit back and watch all the mayhem go down. Now, as for the four teams underneath them, uh, third place, you got BX Bad Boys. Fourth place, you got Duke Heavy Hitters. Fifth place, you got me, Too Hot for TV. Sixth place, you got the Rough Riders. So... I'm going against the Duke heavy hitters this week. And as it's standing, I'm ahead right now, 68.42 to 66.44. It's a closed match. We're going at it. And then as far as BX, yeah, um, BX Bad Boys going against Rough Riders. They got the lead over the Rough Riders right now, 51.38 to 31.90. Now, keep in mind... The afternoon games haven't started. The ones that started about 4.15. They haven't started. The Sunday night game hasn't started. And Monday night game hasn't gone down yet. So, it's still anybody's game. Alright? Um, we do have a couple other teams that are playing. You know, the King Street Wildcats, Black Rain, Delta Dogs, Ds. But, I mean, they're like playing for what? Um... I don't know, last place, six, seven, eight, nine, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> that's all for me, folks. But this your boy, Quan, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to give y'all the 4 one one of what's going on in the league. So uh, take it for what it's worth, and I'm out.